My name is Amanda Bartolotta and I am finishing my freshman year at the University of Delaware. My major is Business Undeclared and I have changed it numerous times because I want my future employment to be something I genuinely love to do and look at it as a passion instead of a hobby. After retiring from competitive, the competitive gymnastics world, I decided to take up a side hobby of judging competitive gymnastics. During the competition today, I will be judging the famous, monumental, and extraordinary Diane Durham. She became the first African-American gymnast to win an all-round senior title at the United States National Championship and was determined to succeed and overcome each obstacle that came her way. As I approached high school, I coached the gymnastics team. Therefore, her story inspires me to never to give up regardless of the circumstances. If I could go back and stay on this team, I would in a heartbeat. When it comes down to personal goals, it is essential to push yourself and have no regrets. One of my biggest regrets is quitting because thinking about how far I could have gone and how- Now here comes Diane Durham's floor routine. Gary Indiana's outstanding performance on the floor was just presented and she needs a 9.60 to win. During this meet, she was going after her third individual title. Every time I watch her, her balanced movement and prestigious techniques are thir thoroughly exemplified. Her talents are expressed through her high energy and distinguished moves. During her first tumble, it was her height was absolutely astonishing. Throughout the music, she is hitting every single point she has to. Yet another fantastic double twist in her third tumble. Her performance is going very well and her mom and sister were there to support her from. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Diane's final floor score is a 9.80. There she is, Diane, making her grand appearance on the vault. As she was getting ready to begin, she thought about every aspect of her movement to make it absolutely perfect. She does a whole less outstanding twist, but the step back is going to cost her a few points. Overall, it was a fantastic push off the vault. The first vault was rated 9.75. 
And the second vault was, was a handspring backwards somersault, which was rated 9.8. Diane's average for vault was a 9.77. Good job, Diane. You killed it. Mrs. Durham put her all into her outstanding uneven bar performance. She had an exceptional soul circle shoot, but her purette could have been a little cleaner. She had Diane's overall uneven parallel bar performance is given a 9.65. back and better than ever. During this performance, she had an impressive handstand in the split position, perfectly balanced, especially the crowd loved the back layout. Her back walkover and back handspring were exquisite. She had a perfect dismount, finishing with the round off back handspring somersault. Ladies and gentlemen, her overall balance beam performance was given a 9.85. Thank you so much for all coming. I hope you enjoyed the performances.